The big stories live right here on Plus TV Africa. This is Tea Time, where we bring you the big stories in entertainment. Hello there. Welcome to the afternoon edition of Tea Time. I am Takumbo Taiwe. And here with me are my partners in in-depth analysis, Lakwe Banjo and Ife Oshinke. Hello, people. Hello. What's up, Takumbo? You're not laughing today like you normally do when I've introduced you guys that way. Oh, it's what happened? It wasn't funny today. Well, yeah, mm. yeah, it wasn't really that funny today. In-depth oh. analysis, partners in in-depth analysis. I would have preferred partners in crime. In crime. I was going to say that, but... We I don't like, really, mm, I don't really do that much crime with you. You're a bit of a goody two-shoes, aren't you? Sorry? You're a bit of a goody two-shoes, aren't you? Can't I say the same for you? Well, yeah, well. I guess so. So we wouldn't be partners in crime then. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Unless if I have something to say, I want to move on to my first story. I'm wondering you why say? you guys are excluding me from oh, the Oh, sorry, you can be part of the gang as well. Sorry. No, am I not a good to show? Mm, it's subject to debate. <sighs> just saying. Okay. Hashtag just saying. <laughs> oh, no, I see something. <laughs> All right, I then. said it's subject to debate. On today's episode, we're discussing David Donto, a uh, scoop on Sierra, and there's uh, Kim Kardashian and Faith Evans. We've got scoop on all of those celebrities. So without further ado, let's tuck into our first story, which is on Faith Evans, who uh, reportedly got married to Steve Day on Tuesday. Okay, so who wants to go first? Stevie J. Stevie J. Yeah, Dave my bad, Evans. my bad. Yeah. Oh, I was even, you, you said it wrong. No, he did say Stevie J. He was right. Yeah, it's just like, well, he's just like oh, really? thinking. Yeah, I was just saying, like, Stevie J and Faith Evans. I knew um, they were dating, mm -hmm. but I never thought it would result into marriage mm -hmm. at the end of the day because of um, Stevie J's bad boy reputation. He's been married three times. Well, Faith Evans like bad boys, doesn't she? She was married to, was it Notorious B.I.G.? Yeah. So... It's nothing new as far as I'm concerned. I don't yeah, know about that. Yeah, no, I'm just surprised because right now she's doing more of a, um, what's it called? Like very calm love songs and all. So mm -hmm. one would think she would get married to like a, a very gen a proper gentleman, man. but man, Stevie J. And mm -hmm. Stevie J is this crazy dude. All right, he's, he's been there for I, so long. And I can't wait to hear what you've got to say. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Stevie J. Yeah, especially okay. um, in Atlanta. Yeah, love and hip hop Atlanta. Love and hip hop Atlanta. So Stevie J has, he's a character. He's television worthy, like from mm -hmm. beginning to end, and mm -hmm. he's hot as well. Mm -hmm. He's about 45 years old, I think. I think Faith is one year older than him. Mm -hmm. But let's not make it look like this has just happened out of the so blue. So 45 years old, you still think he's that hot? He's hot. Okay, he's yeah. all right. Flaming hot. Flaming? But, yeah. I flaming. don't know about flaming, That's but anyway. Your opinion, isn't it? <laughs> but no. Um, with Stevie J, they haven't just met. They've been in each other's lives for a very long time. Mm -hmm. In fact, Stevie J is God's father to uh, Biggie's son, son who's yeah, Christopher Wallace, who is Faith's son as well. So mm -hmm. it hasn't. He hasn't just popped out of nowhere. Stevie J was also a producer um, for he's P Diddy. Most of the mm -hmm. songs as well. Yeah, he's known Faith for a very long time. Yeah. In fact, she's had a special appearance on Love and Hip Hop because of their relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's not surprising that there's something like this has happened. Also, Stevie J is someone that's really, really spontaneous. He's a lady man he has eight children with like several different women yeah. and so and he's in like a whole um baby child support he owes jocelyn who's his latest baby mother he mm -hmm. owes her about i think it's a couple million dollars for child support and the baby's not even one yet um and so one is a singer from uh, love and hip-hop so yeah jocelyn is she was a former stripper that was yeah, on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. And he basically, the whole idea of the show is to help underground artists mm -hmm. become famous mm -hmm. using the show as the platform. So the, he met Jocelyn on the show, made her famous, but she in herself was, she was a huge character. Um, yeah. And he was actually in a relationship with his other baby mother at the time. Yeah. So she came and disrupted all of that. Mm -hmm. And basically the same thing is happening to her. And that's a basic summary of his life in terms of his personal life. He you, has several- You're talking about, you know, the, the reality show just now just reminded me of, I love of New York. Did you ever? Yeah, I love New York. Yeah. It's not even as dysfunctional. He's this <laughs> seriously dysfunctional guy. Like Stevie J is so dysfunctional. Um, his baby moms are always warring with each other. Um, his life is very, you know, public on there. Mm -hmm. But he's got a huge musical background. He's very talented. He okay. plays about three different instruments. All right. Sorry to cut in there. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to Faith because, like, he was uh, like, if I was saying basically that this is um, it, it's different for for her. Or what was it you said? about her choice 
yeah, you're yeah. surprised that Yeah, I'm just surprised because she's been doing a lot of love songs lately. And, and this is why I was saying, before you interrupted, this is why I'm saying that his whole, like, musical background and his artistic background is, is very, very... Um, important in their relationship mm -hmm. because he's made music for her you mm -hmm. know the so the kind of song and he's a really good singer so she's a good singer as well mm -hmm. and like you know he plays different instruments and yeah. they work together musically so i think it's not like i said it's not a surprise that this has happened what's a sh what what is a shock is the fact that they've got married and no one knew about it mm -hmm. yeah. not even their closest family members were there and they um, did it in the hotel room yeah mm -hmm. in vegas, in Las vegas yeah, yeah but she was on her way to london and he was on his way he was in atlanta mm -hmm. shooting for love and hip-hop atlanta mm -hmm. so i mean no one expected it it happened and apparently even um christopher wallace who's faith's son with biggie mm -hmm. isn't impressed because that's his godfather so it's I'm, just I'm like seriously because i wanted to bring that up like would you marry your own you know your your, your child Godfather. Well, I guess I, I don't know if I would do it, but mm -hmm. I'm saying like in Faith's, you know, in Faith's case, mm -hmm. it's not that surprising because obviously they had some sort of a relationship, relationship. for her to make him her son's godfather. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that the consequence or how it looks, because from the way I see it, it's like it's incestuous. But I oh, may be taking it too far. Yeah, that is a bit far. Because, okay. you know, they're not, they're not related. <laughs> and also, I mean, I would be more upset if I was the child because mm -hmm. somebody that you've grown up as, you know... Mm -hmm. That's why I think it's family. incestuous because it's like family. That's the way yeah, I see it. Mm, I know, but, you know, Stevie J, I mean, it's America, black American culture, music. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. these things happen all the time. In yeah. fact, if we compare it to Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. who has a baby with Christina Milian, mm -hmm. um, and she's had a, she has a baby with... Is it Nipsey Hussle? Not Nipsey Hussle. The other singer, Nivea, I can't remember. The Dream? Anyway, mm -hmm. Christina Milian has a son with someone else. Um, and she, this, this, the person, this rapper that she has a son with, um, he... He has a child with somebody that was dating Lil Wayne. So it's always very Lauren London is who I'm referring to. So mm -hmm. like they're all very like interlinked. They're mm -hmm. very, they, you know, they pass around. It's and too close for comfort. It is exactly oh. close for comfort. Yeah, but it's that's not even comfort. so close in As terms of um, they're adults and they, ha they can decide wherever they want to. I'm talking about the kids. The kids are somehow related because of that link. Mm -hmm. in, that little, in the example I've just given. Yeah, right. they're, they're linked. Yeah, stepsisters and... Yeah, but yeah. my point is these things happen all the time, like this incestuous mm -hmm. kind of scenario. Yeah, but it boils down to the mm -hmm. culture. The culture is totally different from ours. That's the point I'm making. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm guys. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Uh, but, uh, and it, did you have yeah, any yeah, final he, thoughts? Yeah, yeah I was just saying the culture is different, so I don't think it's a big deal. Maybe if this was happening in Nigeria, yeah. they would have called for a family meeting. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It's true. It's true. I'm telling you. All right, then. Uh, we're taking a quick break. When we return, we'll be discussing a reality to star uh, with ever-growing fame, KKW. We'll be right back. Hmm, free extra social data from Etisalat. Extra data. Extra data. No extra cost. Extra data. No extra cost. Extra social data on monthly Data Plus packs. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time and we're about to discuss this story on Kim Kardashian West. The style icon has been sued over new perfume logo. OK, so um, if I, why don't you tell us the story? Um, OK, so there's this um, media company called Vibes Media. And um, Kim Kardashian, you remember when she came out with the um, KKW fragrance, fragrance that mm -hmm. made her five million naira in five minutes. Five, five million naira? Five million naira, <laughs> five million dollars yeah, in five, five million. minutes. Yeah. And then she has um, three, three, um, what do I call it? Three... Um, emojis, they're like the emojis and she's made them out of her. Yeah, but I'm trying to... She has like three particular types of okay. those perfumes. Okay. Maybe um, the first one is Vibes, the mm -hmm. other one is Peach, and the other one is Cherry. 
So the one of the Vibes has a similar logo to the logo of Vibes Media, an mm -hmm. existing company. So they're saying they don't have any problem with the rest of the perfume lines. Mm -hmm. The one they want her to take off is the, is vibes. the Vibes. And they are not just saying take it off. They mm -hmm. said they want every one of them to be produced destroyed. to be destroyed. And they're also suing for damages. We Ooh. don't know how much they're suing for in damages, Ooh. but they want it to be destroyed and they're suing for damages. And really, if you look at mm -hmm. the logo yep. and that of Kim K, mm -hmm. it looks very similar. similar. Yeah, but anyone could have had, this is what I mean, like they're yeah. clutching at straws and they're just doing, they're riding off of this thing because it's Kim K. Yeah. If you look at the both logos, mm -hmm. yes, they look similar, mm -hmm. but the colors are different, the mm -hmm. font is different, mm -hmm. the size of the speech, yeah. Mark, the mm -hmm. speech bubble is different. Yeah. So it just doesn't really make any sense as to why they're suing for that much. Mm -hmm. um, anyone, like like I said, if it wasn't Kim K, anyone could have come mm -hmm. up with an old, that something yeah. really similar. It's, it's quite a basic logo. Yeah. So for me, I don't know how successful this is going to be for but them. But you know yeah, why? For me, when I looked at the logos, they look different. The only thing that is similar is just their name. Yeah, you, yeah exactly. it's just the name. It's just yeah, their name. But, but it's, it's no, different. It's not just, it can't just be a coincidence that you name one of your lines vibes mm -hmm. and the logo of that particular as you mean the cherry also had the speech oh, bubble and then mm -hmm. they wrote cherry in mm -hmm. it as you mean the peach had the speech bubble and mm -hmm. then they wrote peach in it mm -hmm. then we would say okay, okay maybe but this can't just be a coincidence for you to have okay if vibe I, let me line. ask you because you have like a legal background but from what yeah. she's saying do you think these people have a legal ground to yeah stand they on? do because um there's something that they call um name check when you're registering your company yeah. You check your names, you check logos. There's mm -hmm. a way there's a way they check all those things on is, the internet. Is, is, is to it find not a, 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 is it a patent or something like that or this does not apply. No, no, no. no. Okay. To find a, a existing companies with similar names to yours and logos, mm -hmm. you really need to do a thorough search of those things before yeah. you register your company. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure she has a team that she can afford to pay for the best. I'm sure they must have even and done then, that check. Well, maybe they 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 took it for granted, granted because she's yeah. Kim K. Okay. They felt oh she could get away with anything, but that would have been stupid because if she gets sued, she would have to pay more mm -hmm. than a regular person. Mm -hmm. So if they if the fault was from a team, then I think she should fire each and every one of them. And I'm not even <laughs> laughing. Do you think she should pay, she should pay out and then fire the team? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think she should just okay. pay out because if this goes to court, mm -hmm. she's going to lose all. She should even pay them for mm -hmm. she can't afford it, so she should even pay. Them or buy for them their logo, mm -hmm. do you understand? And but do keep... you think they want to sell though at this stage? Yeah, but they're two different kind of companies. Vibes is a media company, mm -hmm. and her vibes is a fragrance. Yeah. So it's very, very easy for mm -hmm. that, you know, that oversight to have happened. Oh, true. Yeah. And this is why I don't think that they've got no, no, no. To stand it's, on. Yeah, it's very easy for that oversight to have happened. But when you're doing the name check and the and the brand logo check, mm -hmm. you have to be very thorough. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like there are companies. That have, that have different objectives, mm -hmm. but they have same names. Now, those companies come after each other, but their objectives are different. They are not, True. They are not giving you the same True. services. I'm with you, but yeah. what I don't agree with is the fact that this Vibes is not, her perfume is not called Vibes Perfume by Kim Kardashian West. Mm -hmm. It's Kim Kardashian West Fragrances, and there's one out mm -hmm. of the three mm -hmm. that happens to be called Vibes. Mm -hmm. So it's not like that they're gonna go and check, make to make sure that, you know, the peach. All of them, yeah. The peach one hasn't been reused. I know, no, no, I know. I'm saying, I know that they have to be checked, but I'm saying, I'm just trying to justify why the oversight was so easy mm -hmm. to have happened, because it's like a product within another product, yeah. um, and it's a fragrance. The, to me, the whole story just sounds as though mm -hmm. they found something that they can latch on to. Mm -hmm. It's Kim K, let's mm -hmm. make as much money as we can yeah. off of her. And they've probably been advised to do that. Mm -hmm. And she probably will pay out, because it's easy. Yeah. Do you think so? Do you not think they may use this oversight uh, stuff in, no, in their No, because like if I said, it's like it's negligent of mm -hmm. them. So yeah. like, yeah, okay. then they, sh they would probably get away with it. Um, she'll probably uh, not get away with it. Yeah, and then right. another thing I'm wondering is how long ago has she released this KKW fragrance line? It's been line? for a while. And then why are they just coming out now? Unless they filed for this and then this just got to the public knowledge recently. right recently. recently. Okay. Because it's like it's taken too long. Too it's long. been right. too long. Too long. Yeah. All right. We'll leave it there. Uh, we're just in time for a quick break. When we return, it will be some more interesting entertainment stories. Don't go anywhere. It is 
not yet over. The Get to Latin Millions promo is still on. 110 people have won up to 65 million Naira already. And you can be one of them as there is 31 million Naira still available to be won. You stand a chance to become a millionaire. All you have to do is walk into a Fidelity Bank near you and open an account with 10,000 Naira or pay in 10,000 Naira to your already existing account and you stand a chance to win 1 million, 2 million and 3 million Naira in the monthly draw. Draw your account to 50,000 Naira and stand a chance to win up to 5 million Naira. That's not all. Lots of consolation prizes like refrigerators and generators to be won. Rush now to the Fidelity Bank near you and start saving for a chance to become a millionaire in the Fidelity Get A Lot In Millions promo. We're Fidelity. We keep our word. I don't get a lot. God you win. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Plus TV's Tea Time, where we bring you the latest entertainment stories. Our next story is on Russell Wilson's reaction to Shiggy asking for a photo with Sierra alone. Okay, so, Lakme, mm -hmm. should I come to you first, or should yeah. we hear from Ife? I think it was, I mean, the headlines have made it into something that it's not, I mean, it's... It Blown it out of proportion once... Not technically, they but they've just, they've made it seem as though it was negative when it was really positive. Yeah. Okay. Russell Wilson, you know, doesn't come as someone that's aggressive or negative, mm -hmm. or... He was just making jest, he was making it, in, you know, jest out of the whole scenario, like, the mm -hmm. fact that the guy who pioneered this whole Drake in my feelings challenge... Dance, yeah. um, the Shiggy Dance. The Shiggy Dance, um, which Sierra then reenacted and did a really good job. I mean, he was just trying to make a joke out of the whole thing because he wanted a picture of Rihanna, um, Rihanna Ciara. Ciara with by himself. Um, and it was at the SB Awards. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he just put up a video up on his Instagram saying that, you know, yeah, like, you're lucky that um, you like the I like dance. the dance, otherwise... Because he's in the video as well, so it's a yeah. bit like, I don't really care about you, I care about Rihanna. But Shiggy's also, a, you know, someone that dances a lot. Sierra's a really, really good dancer. Mm -hmm. So I understand the obsession and the admiration yeah. he has for her. Okay. But, you know, Russell was cool. It was funny. It was, it was really cool. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was just a jovial situation. Yeah, The absolutely. way it started, even mm -hmm. with Shiggy, you know, Shiggy was just like, you know, like, move back. Like, he needs to take a picture. Yeah. And that, I would have found that really funny in some but he wanted to take a picture with my wife like that, you mm -hmm. get then mm -hmm. yeah. So there was nothing to it, but the media, like we always do. That's why I say they've blown it out of proportion. Mm -hmm. yes. Yep, completely. So let's conclude that there's no basis whatsoever to the beef. No, that, there's no, no, there's no basis. At it's all. just fun. It's just fun. It's I'm very sure light -hearted. When the viewers watch this, they'll be laughing as it's well. It's a clickbait, yeah. isn't yeah. it? It's something that to be, be like, oh my God, what did Russell Wilson do? Mm -hmm. You watch it, you yeah. realize it's just yeah. a joke. But mm -hmm. it was nice to see that, you know, he wasn't like, aggressive about it or like being oh, the alpha male yeah he was mm -hmm. just really chilled and mm -hmm. that's every man should take a leaf out of i was gonna say if would you have done that oh yeah why not i'm a very jovial person you so. say that too quickly for me to believe i actually believe him if yeah, really? I, I think you would have the same reaction I, yeah yeah, no, yeah because it's always like it's a, a very jealous type <laughs> no but like no okay all right i feel like that's um like i've the, taken it trust me I, I make them jealous I don't get jealous. Get over yourself. Ooh. Get over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Say something now. Go on. No, I just because think... Because you're making faces. <laughs> it's just silly, anyway. <laughs> um, I know, I just think that, um, you know, it's, it's nice for mm -hmm. Russell to behave like that because what it shows is that he appreciates his wife's talent and who and she is. And he's very secure. Yeah, yeah them exactly. Them he's very secure. Like, yeah. No, but Seriously. come on, man. Shiggy to Russell. Like, let's wait. You'll be surprised. This exactly. is Shiggy all the way. Yeah. What's the guy that she was dating? The young boy. Um, um, oh. What's his name? Right. Exactly. If we yeah, went. I mean, and she still went for the younger guy. So okay. let's be honest. Here. No, but he's not the you younger guy. You can't predict. Not exactly. Just, um, I'm not talking in terms of just age now. I'm also talking about status. in terms of um, status, yeah. achievements. Yeah, Tiger's more, more successful than the guy that she, the 18-year-old boy that she ended up going for. He doesn't even really have a name, does he? Yeah, J. Exactly. J Almighty. J Almighty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he has a name. And no one knew who he was before Black That's China. what I'm saying. So, so and she still it, made that wild decision. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we can't compare because that is Black China. Black China is known for doing wild stuff. Okay, fine. In Sierra's case, and then, Sierra also went out with 50 Cent. 50 Cent, Russell mm -hmm. Wilson. 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. That's a tougher one. Which one would you yeah, get? Yeah, 50 Cent, Russell Wilson. Yeah. In terms of uh, composure, maturity. That's not what she's looking 
looking at though. No, in terms of composure, maturity, I think she will go for Russell a thousand and one time. You never can yeah, tell now, now she, 50 yeah, Cent. Yeah, now she would, but she was in a serious relationship with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. Oh, how could we forget? She was with Future. She has mm -hmm. a child with Future. With Future, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, you All can't right. predict. Okay. If, uh, she's beating you to it. Or, no, she unless you want to it because um, she's looking more in terms... Okay, before mm -hmm. I started bringing out this example, yeah. she was bringing out the age factor. Like, no, I wasn't. I was saying, was I was younger. talking about status, yeah, actually, because yeah. Jay Almighty is unknown mm -hmm. and he's a kid and Black China is the known one, right? Mm -hmm. So Black China still, you know, after going for someone like Tiger and Rob Kardashian, mm -hmm. still ended up with someone that was unknown without no status. So I'm, the point I'm trying to make okay. is you, you can't predict. But trust me, right. there are certain people that will make you guys. jealous as a guy, and there are certain people that you just like, oh, whatever, you can, you don't have a chance anyway. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. All and right. did you hear what, Russ, uh, what Shiggy said as well? No. He was like, oh, you got down luck. Oh, really? Yeah, that was mm -hmm. what he said. So. Yeah, so he knows. He, he that knows, wasn't his intention yeah. anyway. He knows, yeah. Okay, so moving on to our final story. Uh, it's on David... Do Dave oh, David... 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 No, David Donto, uh, who is a Ghanaian actor, and he says, Gollywood is not just original. And I totally agree with him. Because so when right. he first oh, came Lord, out... No, please, guys, don't tell me you... Well, you like the name. No, I, it's not like I like the name, but if you're telling me that um, Gollywood is not original, then what are we going to say about Nollywood? What are we going to see about Bollywood? Because mm -hmm. the first wood we ever knew was Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every other person from India mm -hmm. down to Nigeria, we are not original. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, we did, we, like you said, we did Bollywood, we did Nollywood, you we know. We can't so, have Bollywood as well. No, what I'm saying, even saying is that Why by the time not? we've done Nollywood and, uh, and um, Bollywood, Bollywood, get, Bollywood is now just like so lame. And also, no. Nollywood is meant to be, although it originates from Nigeria, it's meant to be representative of the African cinema market. Because let's be honest, Nigeria is the biggest, is the biggest you know, Film. We are the Africa's third largest actually in the world, worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. So let alone Africa. Yeah, so I'm saying we represent Africa. Africa. Because every yeah. African country watches Nollywood, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So to have Ghana, who is essentially next door neighbors, mm -hmm. and then call their, you know, with all due respect, their tiny, um, you know, industry. industry. He even said so. So there's As, no, yeah, exactly. there's the first person who <laughs> came Gollywood. up, who came up to speak against this Gollywood thing. It was, was the, Majid Michelle. Okay. Majid uh, no, Michel. but Majid Michael only did that because. Um, they like him. Why, why do we keep calling? I call him Michelle, or you call him it's Michael. Michael isn't is it, it Michael or Michelle? I don't know. Is it Michelle? It's spelled as M I C H E L. Then it must be Michelle. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So Majid Michelle, as mm -hmm. I, um, if I rightly corrected, um, I feel like he said that he dismissed it that time mm -hmm. because there was like a line that the Ghanaian actors were crossing between their Ghanaian films and Nigerian films. Mm -hmm. Like we know, everyone in Nigeria knows who Maj Majid, can yeah. I just call him Majid Michael? Maj Majid Ma Michelle is because he's always, you know, he's a frequent per um, actor in Nigerian movies. Mm -hmm. Same as this guy, what's the guy? Um, what's Ghanaian actor as yeah. well. John, John DeMello. John DeMello um, and the other guy from Tinsel. The one that uh, married that girl. And um, the ladies uh, as well, Nadia uh, Buari, yeah, and uh, just Jackie, Jackie Appiah. Appiah. And so for my point I'm trying to make is that there was always a line that was crossed. So yeah. to dissent, to, um, what's it called, to, to, to segregate mm -hmm. Gollywood and Nollywood doesn't Gollywood. even make any sense. Forget mm -hmm. the name. Yeah. Yeah. The like division in itself doesn't even make any sense because everybody knows that. No, but I don't think they're really trying to divide. Like, they just want to give their own, because they do have Ghanaian movies, they just want to mm -hmm. give their own a name. But and then where do we draw the line? Because then you have in the <laughs> but North But do you know how crazy? It is over there. Mm -hmm. There's a part of Ghana called Kumasi. Yeah. Right. And they have um, their own movies where they only speak Chui. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the car they, they speak Ghana. What did when you say? Chui. Chui. Yeah, chui. Is, it, is, it, is it Chui? Because T -W -I. I have Ghanaian friends who no, call it's it Chui. It's pronounced no, T W I. Chui or Twee? It's spelled Twee, twee but it's pronounced Twee. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, they they make their own movies in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. And then they speak only the indigenous language, which mm -hmm. is the tree. Mm -hmm. And uh, they call that industry Kuma wood. Oh, wow. That's oh, Kumasi yeah. wood. Okay. So even in Ghana, mm -hmm. they, they tell you that, oh, that's a Kuma wood movie. For mm -hmm. crying out loud, in Nigeria, we have Kani wood, which is just yes, for like Kani wood. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah, movies. Yeah. So it's almost like, where do you draw the line? Mm -hmm. and, and everything like, is all wood, wood, wood. wood, wood, wood. wood. Do we have Yoruba wood? Uh, no. no, they don't, though. We, we, we classify it under Nollywood, yes. <laughs> all right, but well, unfortunately, we haven't got time to delve deep into yeah. this story. So that's all we've got time for on this episode of Tea Time. Join us tomorrow for another interesting edition of the program.
Instagram. For more entertainment stories, log on to Plus TV Africa forward slash entertainment. My thank yous go to my co-anchors and the entire production team. And until next time, I remain Tekumbot Taiwo saying good evening. <laughs>